let us as a united people build a university commensurate with the needs of the Empire State of the South. We have the means, we have the people, we have the climate and the soil. Let us give to this generation the training equal to that of any state of the Union. At the time of Walter Hill's selection as Chancellor, a debate existed over whether the University of Georgia should be providing a classical education or a practical education. Hill believed both were possible. The move for a more practical education had begun years before, with the Morrill Act that provided funding for land-grant institutions. I believe that the spirit and the letter of the Morrill Act are alive and well at UGA today. The Morrill Act basically said that higher education ought to move forward based on a commitment of a certain number of institutions around the country in service to the people of their land. The great land-grant tradition was born. We've been a, uh, involved in the land-grant uh, longer than the Morrill Act. Uh, so the University of Georgia was thinking about uh, service uh, to its citizens long before the Morrill Act was passed. But what was found uh, soon after the establishment of these, quote, land-grant universities was that the information that was being developed through science and technology and research was really not getting out to the people who needed it. And so that was the genesis for the creation of what later became known as the extension system. The Morale Act was uh, basically to help the agriculture industry and what the National Sea Grant Program did was pretty much the same thing except it was all geared towards the ocean industries. The Morale Act laid the basis for the concepts that would undergird public service and outreach. We have eight public service and outreach units that work in every corner of the state uh, every day. We also have 16 colleges and schools, and so we can bring to bear on Georgia's issues and challenges the knowledge and expertise from the entire university. There's been a significant impact on the communities uh, of Georgia as a result of the relationship between the County Commissioners Association, the university system, and more specifically with the public service outreach units. Uh, we're so very blessed in this state to have uh, such synergy that has taken place. The road travels both directions, from Athens to Colquitt County and from Colquitt County back. And one of the things that we have learned is that uh, the interns that have come to Colquitt County have probably benefited a great deal for some uh, really on the ground kind of training. Being involved with the service oriented mission of the University of Georgia is, is very powerful for a student. I feel like I have got a wonderful education here in the College of Agriculture uh, and not only the education I received, but the actual network that I built, I think has, has enabled me to be very effective uh, throughout my career. It's a lot about helping others and helping Georgians. Service learning is the most rewarding piece of my job. Above, above you know, publications, above, you know, sitting in front of a classroom. We're solving problems for tomorrow. We're doing that cutting edge research for 50 years from now. I can think of really only four or five other universities in the United States that can do both and do both so well as the University of Georgia. We're tied to the community and um, we can work very well with the community and give back and it's part of what we do at UGA. I am proud of the good work that so many of you are doing in fulfilling that act that is now 150 years old.